Okay, oh, there's Jerry and Nima. Oh god, Jess! Oh, what have I done? Jerry. I just left her down there. I have to go find her. What? Back down there? With those monsters? No, Jerry. She needs you safe. Jess is a strong and resourceful girl. She's doing like we are doing. Surviving. I can't know that. I won't leave her to those animals. Jerry, look at it's me. If we go back down there, we won't make it to the bottom of that ladder. The others escaped down the tunnel we were gonna follow. We know where they're going. The marine exhibit. That's where Laura would take her. And Yoder is with them. Oh god. Oh god. If we're going to join <laughs> them again, that is where we have to go. The quickest way we can. You're right. We should be able to make better time over land. Can you get us there? I don't know. North? What's north, in it? Uh, it must be to the north. Near the outlet of the river. A big river? With many falls? Yeah, the big river. Okay, good. That's something. Let me get my bearings, and we'll figure out how to get there. Everything's really accurate, like we're Where still in the tunnel, it's weird. Do you know where we are? Let me think. It's been so long. This is my first time back on the island in nearly 12 years. Engine has changed it so much. You and the island? Nima, this island. There's more to it, isn't there? To you, I mean. Yes. It is very dear to me. Tell me. I grew up here, you know? Below those trees. My people were fishermen. We would make our homes near the water during the fishing season. I love the water. I would swim in the ocean. So far. That's why my father called me Nima. I could go anywhere. Run in the jungle. Climb the trees. These monsters. I can do this. There's something going to attack us. Like them on this I keep listening. Before. It was all very peaceful before Injun bought the island from Costa Rica. Aww. You still live here? I see now. You and your family used to live on this island? My family. Everyone. My whole tribe. This had been our home for thousands of years. The island is so different now. I know the island. It's part of me. But when Injun came to the island, important men from Costa Rica came and asked my father to go back with them. They wanted my father to make a good impression so that Costa Rica could ask Injun for a good deal of money for our island. When he was in Costa Rica, he was asked to cut his hair and wear a suit so that he wouldn't seem simple to the Injun people. Aww. I felt as I feel now. My father was different. I knew him, but some part of him had been lost. Must have been hard. I'm sure it was a very difficult time for your father. I know he wanted what was best for our people. He was too trusting. They took advantage of him. My father was an Awa, a spiritual healer. He sang for Sibo, who created the earth. He was very important to our tribe. But after we left the island, he would not keep up the old traditions. He was always unhappy. Aww. Sibo? What is Sibo? That mountain there. It is like a house, my father said. My people believe that the animals of the world built it. Before Injun. And my father and I would go to the ocean to fish. When I would swim in the ocean, my father would say, Nima! Little fish! Little fish, do not swim so far. I cannot catch you so far out. <laughs> when Injun came to move us to Costa Rica, I became very angry with my father. Whatever he would tell me to do, I would refuse. But he would never be angry with me. He would say that I am a fish who would never eat the fisher's bait. It was right. To me, everything had a string attached. <laughs> ah, God damn it. Remind me of my stubbornness. I think I believe that's how I must always be. You know, no ties, no temptation. But then I had Atlanta, my Mariquita. She is almost of an age where she will outgrow my protection. Young girls on the streets in my neighborhood, they get snatched up by local cartels, run drugs, or worse, some just disappear. Now there is no choice. Everything I do, I do for her. Now I am the fisher, and at the same time, I have come to a way in my life where I must always chase the bait. Poor Nima and her poor daughter. I want to be free. 
I want for her to have opportunities that I didn't have. I just hope I can be there for her the way my father was there for me. She can be stubborn like her mother used to be, and refuse the Fisher's Bay. I think I know now it's a good way to be. I think that my father believed that too. Well, you've turned into quite the capable woman. Your father must be very proud of you. Thank you, Jerry. I... I should have realized that sooner, though. I'm sure he knew. Nima, look, I... What is it? I'm sorry about what Injen has done to your island. This isn't the way things should have been done. I don't blame you, Jerry. You're a good person. I see that. But I take my pay from Injen. I owe you something. All right, Jerry. Oh. Enough talk. You know where we are? I have a good idea. It's a difficult hike. Do you feel rested? Hungry. A little thirsty, but I, I just want to get to Jess. Good. What the hell's that? Oh! oh, oh Dilophosaurus! Did you guess Dilophosaurus? Hello? That was actually the call of a whooping swan. Dinosaurs shared many features. Oh, God damn, are you serious? That wasn't a Dilophosaurus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit, no. That's the car that the T-Rex was chasing, wasn't it? We are arriving at the fourth of seven lookouts along the tour. Your Jurassic Park tour vehicle will stop for five minutes to let you stretch your legs and take photographs of our animals. <gasps> it's the car the T-Rex was chasing. And aquarium. <laughs> well, we found out lots of about Nima. Listens a lot. Pretty sad story. But now we've got the old car back. Ooh. Oh shit! We're gonna have to do some tapping here. Try and get through that door. Oh, so they, they survived. They're alive. They're a ladder. Look at this. Ooh. It's Ventura. What are they? They look like feeder tanks. This could be a hatchery. A hatcher what? They're raising <laughs> these fish to feed another animal. Like at Marine World. Like the killer whales? Precisely. Oh god. Uh, uh, ah. Look, there's a sign over there. It looks like a schedule or something. I didn't realize I have to be clicking. That's the stocking schedule for the tanks. Some tells me these fish aren't for feeding whales, huh, Doc? Eh, eh. Fish you pulled then. Hold up. I hear something. <gasps> You're frozen with petrified faces, then. I wish he still had his gun. He's AK. All clear. Oh my god! Dad! Jess! Oh, thank god! So that's what he was hearing. Are you okay? Are you hurt? No! I I'm okay! Just... can we go home now? I'm so glad you two are safe, Jerry. How did you manage to get here? We climbed out of the tunnels through a service hatch near one of the tour routes. Luckily... Someone left the tour program running. Thanks. <laughs> you mean... Dr. Sorkin, the phones are not working. I'm sorry? There is no dial tone. You said the phones would be working here. That's odd. My control terminal showed that the main lines here were active. Unless... Of course. Everything is controlled by the computer systems, even oh, the phones. even the computers. The power outage God damn outlast, computers. The battery backups, then the system is probably just waiting to be booted up. Get us to the phones, Doc. We don't have a lot of time. Mr. Yoder, I refuse to be pushed around by you any longer. Look, this isn't a day trip. If we don't contact Injin and get another helicopter out here for you all, the next flight over the island is going to be a wing of B-52s carrying holy hellfire. What? What? That's right, Doc. They're going to murder all your precious little pets and sink this island into the Pacific. Dios mio. That's what you meant by Ground Zero? Yeah, that's right. Why didn't you tell me earlier? This is my home. <laughs> what do you mean, your home? I didn't tell you earlier because I thought we'd be off the island by now. 
This island is the ancestral home of her people. Wait, what is Dr. Sorkin doing? Uh oh. Laura? She's going rogue! Wait, what are you. Where is she going? How the hell do we know? Still getting mad at us, you jerk. The control room is. She's going to the phones without us. Damn it! Get that elevator back up here! Do it yourself! All together now. Oh, they've really made a lot of progress in construction here. Paleozoic, huh? Well, most of the specimens here aren't really from the Jurassic period anyway. <laughs> I know about time periods, so I know that half of these dinosaurs aren't from dinosaur land. Ah, Paleozoic. From oldest to newest. Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Carboniferous, Permian. Permian ain't that far away, is it? What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, God. It looks like a Mosasaur. Mosa what? It looks kind of scary. Well, it's sort of a, a sea lizard of sorts. You think of a um, big moray eel with a crocodile head. Croco eel? Great. Sounds charming. Don't worry. <sighs> there are no sea creatures on my list of park animals. Ha! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. We've already looked at this, haven't we? My knees a bit, that name when you want to go home. Oh, oh that's talking to Jess. Sorry about everything. Dad, I'm so sorry I caused all this trouble. Hey, hey, this isn't your fault. It is! With the smoking, the dinosaurs, the stealing, my grades, I, I don't mean to be such a screw up all the time. Look, Jess, I know Rake. I can come down Cherry. on hard sometimes. I just, I feel like I have to cram months of being a dad into the few short days I get with you. But you're an amazing young woman. I'm proud of you. <sighs> I just, I don't want you to have to make the same mistakes I've made. Like being a dinosaur park person. Something I found out about as well. I'll be over by the info desk, okay? Yeah, Dad. Is that in the first Jurassic Park movie, there's a guy who goes to help the Triceratops who's not very happy. Sure could use some now. And that's supposed to be Jerry. Oh, God. Oh, something weird happened then. And that's supposed to be Jerry, but they changed his character and look. In this game, a hell of a lot to uh, this instead of having a mustache and looking older and stuff. That's what's supposed to be Jelly. Jelly. What the fuck? Jerry, who helps the Triceratops, who's sick. Oh, very clever. Looks like they're using numbers from the dates of the Paleozoic era as daily key codes. Okay. So the plaque for the Paleozoic era preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. What? Ah, ah, ah. How do I get back out? Go back to the thing. Devonian. Named after Devonshire. Maybe. Do not choose to I'm not too sure. Oh no! I don't know! What There's the hell am I thinking? To the order, if I can just recall the order of the display. What am I picking here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what is that mnemonic? Carboniferous. Camels often sit down. Paleozoic. Perhaps the Cambrian, yada yada yada, Ordovician, Permian, Silurian, Devonian. I don't know. I need to be paying more attention. I'm not paying enough attention. Well, that's how you cut back out. Okay. Cambrian. So plaque for the period three hundred fifty-nine. Preceded the oldest period at the display. Maybe the sequence doesn't start at the beginning of the week. Today is Saturday. I need Friday's code. Okay, I figured that I, I know about that, but I don't know which one to pick. Silurian. I'm going with Silurian. 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 Good a guess as any. Okay, let's try it at the elevator. The ele what's this about?
Oh, look at the little right. fishies. Where would the training manual be? Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right. Reset. But then he walks away. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, well, that didn't work. What am I doing? Code not working. Info desk. Okay, we'll go to the info desk. What did that happen? He just walks away, I don't understand. Oh, the red light's gone off now. Why does he walk away? Go to the info desk. Where the hell is it? That is just confusing as hell. I do not, not know what the hell it's doing. Here we are. Oh good. Instructions. Insert operator's key into key slot. Okay. Etc. Etc. Code expires in 24 hours. Morning operations reset procedure. Turn key counterclockwise to input notch and hold for three seconds. Keypad will reset and beep three times. Turn key clockwise to reset. Enter previous code, then new code. Huh, that's easy enough. Reset, then input, something like that. Turn it to input, turn it to reset, hold it for three seconds, then turn it to input. Why are you walking away? You're not going to beep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Jesus, hell in Christ! How could I not figure that out soon? I'm an idiot. Sorry about that, people. Ah, oh, crud. Must have picked the wrong photo. Oh, wrong photo! Oh, Jesus Christ. It's my own incompetence here that's doing all this. Pick a different photo. Devonian. This is the one I was going to pick in the first place. Devonian. Shoot Devonian. Okay. Let's try this one. God damn, the whole thing in this park is just absolutely stupid. You have to hold to... to uh, open to close. And then close the circuit and all this bullshit. Let's just say off, on, reset. Why do you have to put input, reset, bullshit? Bag, boo, bab, they, badoo. Reset. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, dude! Yeah. Pick the wrong picture. It's always the last one you're friggin' picking it when you can't figure out which one it is. Why do I have to go back and reset everything? Why couldn't you just figure out that it's the one last picture and just do it like that? Why don't you... Permian. Permian. Sounds right. Choose Permian. <laughs> Plus it's early morning for me anyway, I'm tired still. Okay, best guess. I'm still... I'm recording this after I recorded the last one. Usually I record on the day I'm uploading. But today I'm just trying to get through it because we're on the last last part. So uh yeah. And I know one place that I need to end off near the end. Input. Reset. 
nine two five one. All right, new code. Keep <sighs> it simple. Five 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 five. We're in. Hooray! Someone will see. Relax. See what? Uh oh. Damn it, you careless idiot. Uh, what was that thing? Some kind of spy gear? Yeah, that's right. Top secret. In fact, if you tell anyone about it, I'll have to kill you. Come on. Nail finger on her. I was just kidding around. Everyone, I got the elevator working. <sighs> about time. What's going on? Don't yourself, you peel of crap. Nothing. Peel of crap. Pile cool. of crap. Glitching through the knife. Oh, jeez, get over it. Let's go. We don't got all day. Jack. Loading and auto save. We're over twenty minutes, so I think I'll end off. Here, we're going to go down, we're going to talk to Sorkin, see what the hell she's doing, locking herself up down there. So I will see you all next time.